If you guys want the cheapest and most reliable website for MT, go to safenbamt.com. They deliver super fast, it's safe, and use code HTB for a 5% discount. So if you're struggling to go 12 and 0 or finish spotlight challenges, hit up DVDJ on Facebook or Twitter and use code HTB for a 10% discount. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can see in front of you today, we've got the brand new 94 overall Diamond Moments of the Week, Jaron Jackson Jr., man. Last week, he had himself an Amethyst Moments of the Week card. This week, he's got a Diamond. I heard the Amethyst one was an absolute bucket, but I never did a gameplay on him, so I had to do a gameplay on the Diamond one this week for you guys. He's looking good. I like the card art. I like the glow. Everything looks good with the Memphis jersey, so I'm vibing with it. Now, you guys know I always appreciate your support on this channel as well so if we could go ahead and aim for 700 likes on today's video that would be greatly appreciated man we pulled a ton of packs to get this jaron jackson jr we actually pulled like seven of him because i was trying to pull carl anthony towns at the same time but that aside let's dive into these stats let's see what he's all about and then we'll hop into a game so as you guys can see 96 offensive overall 95 defense his primary position is power forward although we're going to be running him at center for this gameplay everyone said he was just better there so why not try him out there he is 6'11 diving into the stats the driving layup isn't too crazy but he does have a little bit of post game he's got a 91 mid-range and a 92 three-pointer that is what i find crazy about this card that's just insane as soon as chris bosch comes out there's a bunch of centers that can now shoot too uh 84 draw foul up there he's got a couple dunking stats ball handling is still a no-no he's got a 95 block which is really nice decent interior defense Pretty good rebounding. Speed doesn't look like it's changed from the Amethyst. Uh, vertical and strength could definitely be better. For that reason, I actually think I'm going to move him back to the 4. Yeah, you're not going to stay at the 5 with that kind of strength, man. Uh, decent hustle. Decent lateral quickness. And defensively, he's okay aware. He's decent. I won't say it's anything too special. But it's when you dive into the badges that he definitely gets better. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Hall of Fame green machine. Hall of Fame pick and roller. Pogo stick chase down artist and rim protector so a good set of badges right there to go along with 21 other gold badges including clamps intimidator i believe he still got quick draw because he had that on the amethyst as well so a good set of badges right here no flexible release unfortunately which is kind of tough but at least he's got the green machine and that's all that really matters we're actually just going to keep him at center if he suffers a bit we'll move him to the power four position and that's just kind of how we'll go but uh without further ado boys and girls let's hop into a game and let's see what triple j here is all about man let's get into it all right boys let's see what our matchup's looking like today and he's got a solid team that wilt might be a problem at center ai at the one and derrick rose at the two is definitely something different i'm vibing with this let's dance all right boys and girls as you can see man we had to rock the classic grizzlies jerseys they're just way too beautiful jaron jackson get to the rim right away and he's gonna go ahead and put it down to start the game all right so the one thing i'm really worried about when it comes to this game here today guys is gonna be the post because that's where he's definitely got the size he's got tim duncan he's got will chamberlain that's gonna be a problem jaron jackson's got a board though uh let me go right into a pick and fade it looks like he's trying to cherry pick with one player i'm not about to hit that screen there we go catch and shoot green bean jumpers looking good so all this guy's really doing is running a play that gets him open at the rim every time. So I'm going to have to run a 2-3 zone because he's got Tim Duncan and Will Chamberlain. Both aren't exactly prolific shooters. My boy Jaron, though, is catching alley-oops right now. All right, let's get back on defense. You know he's going to be rim running. We're there to protect the rim like crazy today. Now let's get running. I'm going to Boshi. Boshi to Jaron all the way through. He's not dunking it, but hey, he's drawing the foul. I'm not going to lie. I am liking this Jaron Jackson so far. I forgot what his free throw is, but it seems pretty easy right here. We do have the amethyst one on our no money spent account and i like him a lot and this diamond so far it's impressing me give it to my boy jaron there we go see this right here this is bait we may not have the strength but it doesn't matter because that man's too small anyways nice grab right there by kobe bean let's push the pace where's my boy jaron oh he's on the other side i see you jaron see this right here is another mismatch come here let's dance in the post get out of the way there rose all the way <laughs> easy dunk not gonna lie, I'm really liking how this Jaren's playing. Uh, let's go into a nice little pick and fade here on Iverson. Hit that screen. Thank you. Now go get open, buddy. Catch and shoot. That's only a mid-range. Still a bucket, though. Protect the rim. Good defense there by Jimmy Butler. This man's just rim running, and it's not really paying off for him. Uh, Bosh, back to Jaren inside. Get in the post. Oh, we got this post hook, baby. Give me those. 
Good defense right there. We're in the second quarter. He's actually got the pink diamond Isaiah Thomas, the one that evils into a galaxy opal. Now we're up against Nate Thurman. See, this is another big body. That's what's going to be tough about running him at center is not being able to back people down. Luckily, we got a fadeaway. So I just realized we're actually blowing this guy out like crazy. He's not even really playing like that. There we go. Go get open, Jaren. Catch. That's only a mid range. I mean, I wanted the three. I want to debut that three some more. All right, let's pray this one translates into a three here. There we go. Around the screen. Perfect. Now go get open catch and shoot yeah that hall of fame green machine on him with hall of fame catch and shoot that's a wrap so now he's actually trying hard and he's playing the inbounds that's fine with me let's actually go into a pick and roll here i owe jaron jackson a nice little alley-oop right here hit that screen now roll for me here we go right over nate oh nice catch nice finish that was like an okay throw by kobe all right so we got the bench in here and as you can see my new pickup right here clay day why not test out that limitless range oh and it's going down man i have missed using a clay thompson let's get a nice little pick and pop here together i'm gonna shoot off the screen clay step back to jaron pump fake oh i'm blown by there we go to the rim easy layup hey let's go we got 18 seconds left in this quarter jaron is running down the court come on don't get blocked oh man that speed is a little bit scary on him given that he is also on gatorade seven seconds to go let's make something magical happen here behind the back i see him cutting through nice pass easy layup oh wow he actually snuck that in right there to end off the second quarter get that rebound there we go all right so we're in the second half it's been a bit of a slow start but it's okay it's all about the strong finishes lebron catch and shoot that's not a green but it's a bucket i have not been timing any of my releases that well today good defense there by jaron jackson let's keep pushing the pace here where's it going it's going to let go james keep running jaron all right i guess blake wants it more easy dunk all right i called the timeout just to give jaron a bit of energy here uh let's go into a pick and roll here with jaron jackson i want to get this man another alley-oop hit that screen thank you oh he's running a zone defense lebron that's money green bean Get that rebound, bro. Jaron Jackson is on the boards today. You love to see it. Let's push the pace. Right back to Jaron all the way through. Oh, okay, I was hoping he'd draw the foul. And we got a couple more free throws here. This man's having himself a game. 12 rebounds in the third quarter alone. That is just absolutely crazy. He's shooting great from the field as well. And that free throw is butter. Uh, let me run this again here. There we go. Come hit that screen. Jaron, go get open. Catch. Swing to the corner. We'll get some dimes here, baby. Green bean. LeBron James, man. I love that card. Good defense there by Balake. He gets the board. All right, let's push the pace. Don't worry, Jaron. I see you, but first we'll go to Clay and then throw it up to you. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Go right to Baron. He's running a full court press now. I don't know what this guy's intention is on offense, but I promise you it won't work. To LeBron, pump fake. Oh, Jaron, you got to get out to the three where Baron Davis is. See, that's easy money. All right, so we're in the fourth quarter now, guys. He switched to a man-to-man. -man. He doesn't know what to do. Derrick Rose, blow by. He just put that down to start the fourth. He was in a 3-2 zone a second ago. That's the reason I have Jaron at the four in the first place, just so he gets more open looks. But uh, we'll see what happens. Is he back to a zone or a man-to-man? -man? It looks like he's back to a zone. So I'm going to call an ISO here. Let's see if Jaron gets open. I'm going to drive in there. There we go, Jaron. Catch and shoot. Oh, I'm forcing shots right now. I don't know how that dropped. Bait that, bait that, bait that. Thank you. I will take those. Let's go to Kobe Bean. Are we getting open? Yes, we are, Jaron. Catch, swing, Jimmy Buckets, green bean. Nice rebound right there. Oh, Jaron's already running to the basket. Give it to him. Oh, I thought Stockton was going to steal that. That card is pretty defensive, but nice dunk. Get in the post. Get in the post. I see D-Rob there. Let me see if I can get Jaron cutting. There we go. Backdoor cut. Nice pass. Oh, we get fouled. But Jaron Jackson, all around, he's had a good game. You can see we shot three for eight from three. Not gonna lie, I was forcing a couple threes. This might be the worst guy in history that I've ever played, though. I don't understand how you're down 40 and have only scored 27 points in four quarters. I wasn't even really playing defense like that either. That's the crazy thing. Pop, buddy. Catch and shoot. Green bean. Let's go, Jaron Jackson. Where are we going here? Jaron's cutting, and that's gonna be another easy dunk. Let's go. We're going for 50 points here, boys. Where are we going here? Jaron, I'm gonna need you to cut to the rim, actually. I'm gonna throw you an alley-oop just because. Sorry, Timmy. That's for him. Oh, wow. That was an awkward throw. Jaren, catch and shoot not a green, but it's a bucket. All right, so in what was an absolute blowout of a game, we won this game 74 to 27. I honestly expected better with the type of lineup that he had, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead, let's hop into the box score, and let's see our boy Triple J did. All right, so as you guys can see, man, Jaron Jackson Jr. in 20 minutes had himself a game. 54 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists, 20 for 32 from the field, 5 for 10 from 3, perfect from the free throw line, plus 47 from the game. Like, 
all around a very good game from him especially for playing at center for the most part the advantage to this man at center is that he's still got a bit of post game except he's got that three pointer which is going to be huge on a big man and he rebounds like crazy the only con i can think about when it comes to jaron jackson is going to be getting dogged in the post by someone who's a legitimate post player such as will chamberlain if this guy actually really tried to use his wilt but instead he was trying to go off with derrick rose the whole time i really did like jaron jackson jr i think in the long run the best position for him is probably center not power forward not because of the whole strength thing but honestly because of how slow he is he is a pretty slow card with that 70 speed a lot of big men now that are solid big men are usually faster than that especially if you got a card like chris bosh i know bosh has the same speed but bosh feels faster jaron jackson just kind of feels like he wears out pretty quick but again that does not change the fact that this card is a bucket his releases are money he dunks a lot he rebounds a lot he catches alley-oops all around a perfect big man of a card and i think he'll go for a decent price for quite a bit definitely worth the pickup if he goes under 100k because he'll be a great budget card although i think the most expensive cards in this collection are probably going to be him or carl anthony towns just because they're both amazing three-point shooters that's just what you got to expect but with that being said guys this is going to be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy this jaron jackson jr gameplay i'm sorry it was an absolute blowout i expected that guy to be better he had a pink diamond lineup you got to show up like you got one man but if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care